In this video lesson we're going to be looking at some more bound controls on an access form and this time we're going to be looking at using the checkbox, option box and toggle buttons. Remember a bound control is called bound because it's linked to a data source. It's linked to the data in the table. So that the selections that you make on a bound control will update the table. These three controls all work on a yes no field. When you have a table and you have a look at the table in design and you'll remember that every field has got a set of properties associated with it. In this particular table I've got an available field that has been set up as a yes no field and also formatted to yes no. We can change that to on or off or true or false but it's the same data just how it's displayed. If I then look at the lookup tab we can see that the data can be displayed as a checkbox, a text box or a combo box. Those choices that you make are reflected in the table. If I change this to a, a text box, save it and switch into datasheet view, you can see the field there available now says yes or no. If I go back and change that now to a checkbox, you can see it's now a tick box, a checkbox. So when we are working with forms, this is the kind of idea that we are working with. Let's have a look at our form again and switch to design view. If we were just to click and drag the available field onto our form, then it picks up the default formatting that we set up in the table. In this instance, a checkbox. There's our checkbox. We can use that on the form quite successfully. But we can take charge of what that looks like. Take control, if you will. I've got the controls selected there, so I'm just going to press the delete key to get rid of it. Now let's try these option buttons. We'll try the option button first. We select it and then click and drag the field onto the form. In this instance you'll be able to see right away that it's a radio button, an option button, rather than a checkbox. Let's have a look in form view. Yes, there's the radio button and I can click it to select or click to deselect. And again, the table will be automatically updated based on whatever my selections are there. Back into design view. We'll select that form and delete it. And try this time the toggle button. So again, I've got the toggle button selected. I then click and drag the field onto the form. And if you see this time, we haven't got a label associated with it. There's no label. It still works the same way. It's click to select and click to unselect. But there's no label. So we would need to manually add a label in that instance. So that is choosing the design of our yes no field to display as either a checkbox or an option button. And we simply select the one that we want and click and drag the field onto the form. That works rather well because we've got the control wizard selected. If we don't have the control wizard selected and try the same thing, this instance we, we can't click and drag the field, we, we can but nothing actually happens when I click and drag. You can see I've got the black circle there so I can't drop it on the field. So what we need to do is instead of dragging the field down, we've selected the type of option or checkbox that we want. And then we simply move on to the form and you can see my cursor's changed to reflect the fact that I've got a checkbox selected. And I'll click and drag to draw my checkbox. There's the checkbox. That is an unbound control. It is not linked to any data. 
we can see it in design in in form view we can see the checkbox there and yes we can click in it but it's not linked to anything and we can take the ticks out but it doesn't link back to the original data the box itself is either ticked for every record or unticked for every record not very useful in this instance so let's go back into design view delete that control that unbound control and try again so without the wizard selecting my checkbox click and drag to draw it now remember I said that every object in a database has its own set of properties let's bring up the properties for this checkbox using the properties icon and you can also right click to get that as well here's a list of properties for the checkbox see it's got a name there check 16 we can change that but this is the really important thing control source this is where we can actually pick up one of the fields in the table that the form is linked to to make it then a bound control so if I link this to the available field so the control source the source of information for the control is now the available field close that down let's have a look and see what that looks like we've now got the checkbox it's there and we can set it differently for every field because it is linked to the data that is now updating the table but you can see the check 16 has not yet changed it looked like we change it to available let's have a look at the properties again and incidentally you don't have to be in design view to look at properties you can do it from any view that was the name of the checkbox it wasn't linked to the label it's the checkbox it's called available and it's actually the label that we wanted to change to available now I can't select the label in this view so I do need to switch to design view but then just click on the label itself move these things up it can sometimes be quite tricky selecting just the part of the object that you want to select sometimes I say I'm trying to select the checkbox there and I can't because actually the control box is bigger than it looks you see the tick box is there and you tend to think that that's the size of the object but the grab handle for it is down here so I can reduce the size of that object to just the tick box size and then I can select my label more easily when I do get the label selected you can see here I've got the label selected now checkbox called available selected the label also we can use the drop down there to choose the various parts that are available on the form as well so we've got the label selected we can see the name of the label is still called label 17 the caption is called check 16 so it's the caption that we've got to change not the name if I change the caption to available you can see that updates the label close that down have a look at that in form view and now we've got a bound control called available that is a checkbox and that is bound so it'll update every record in the database so that is the three buttons here the toggle button the option button and the checkbox as bound controls and unbound controls